here. That was my favorite. <gasps> I had this guy too. I remember him. Yeah. This is great. Um, so we are the only antique, vintage, retro, and contemporary toy shop all under one roof. We deal with toys and collectibles from 1920 all the way up till yesterday. So some valuable stuff. Right. It can be valuable, it can be rare, but it can also be a $2 action figure. We're one of the biggest buyers in the Midwest. We buy stuff every day. Because look what I brought. My it's Cookie Monster. Cookie. I found this. He's all mad at it, but look, Aww. he winds up and you can faintly hear it playing. C is for Cookie. Oh, look at that. It's very faint because it's old. Sesame Street toys are actually a big deal. They've kind of had a resurgence. Now that PBS doesn't make as many of them. So this would like be something I could sell to you? That's right. Now it's dirty. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Christmas obviously coming up. So like, what would people come in to buy? So we have like two groups. We have the collectors that want to purchase something special either for themselves or for another collector, friend in the family or something like that. Um, they're buying probably more niche things like the Star Wars figure that they didn't get when they were a kid or their Tonka truck that their dad might have had. They give dad back a Tonka truck that he had when he was a kid. If you have somebody that's really hard to buy for, right? I mean, what a great, you said like giving dad the yeah. Tonka truck that he grew up with. You we have try a lot to of find, them. We get a lot of that. We try to find original toys that somebody's parents or grandparents had when they were small. People bring in photographs of them. I can narrow it down to about a two or three year time frame when it was made. We find it and um, that is your Christmas or holiday gift.